Hello my YouTube friends! I'm here today because I want to show you five books that helped me so much in my career. During my streams, lots of people were asking me, Alessia, can you suggest me a chess book? Alessia, um, which book can I buy to improve in chess? Well, I don't want to take the responsibility to suggest a book that is good for everybody because it just, it just doesn't work like this. Uh, I think that every people, every different uh, one needs a different book. Uh, according to level, to uh, the amount of books that you already read and so on. So what I want to do today is to show you five books that helped me so much in my chess improvement in my career and to explain you why they helped me and they might help you as well. So let's get started! <laughs> the first book is this one improve your chess tactics uh, is a book by Yaakov Neshed <laughs> and uh, is about tactic improvement um, as I always said tactic is the key to get better in chess and this book has helped me when I was very young to explain all the tactical part partner and there are also, I mean, it's starting every section, for example, the decoying section, is starting with explanation what this um, theme is about, with some ex example, uh, examples, and then after the explanation section that I always skipped, <laughs> and then there were, there were lots of exercises that I have done. So, um, so it's interesting, it's interesting. What I want to say, what I want to add, that nowadays, I would not buy a tactical book because I think there are lots of ways to do tactic online on many platforms, for example, on chess.com, where it's just much cheaper. This book is costing uh, 20 euro and yeah, you can do tactics on many websites, uh, sometimes even for free. Um, so yeah, go check it and find your best way to improve your chess tactics. Book number two. I'm sorry, guys, but this is in Italian. Uh, but you, we will share with you the English version. Uh, it's a book of John Nunn, and it's about capire gli scacchi mossa dopo mossa. It means understand chess move by move. And I love this book. It's really probably my favorite book because it's a collection of games, of beautiful games. And every game explain a theme. Is the book is split in three sections: openings, middle game, and end game. And the purpose of it is to give the reader um, lots of knowledge about how to play properly from a strategical point of view: openings, middle game, and end game. So this book was really valuable for me. And there are, in some games, there are really lots of analysis, but every, every section, for example, I, I like the, the end game one a lot. So for example, this one, this lesson is the strength of pass pawn. And so it's starting with an explanation that you understand theoretically what you should do, how you should use pass pawn, why they are important and so on. And then it's going on with a beautiful game that show exactly what uh, the concept is. So it's really, really, really well done. So this is a book that even if I say that mostly chess books are not for everyone, this is a book that I would say that everyone should have in his, uh, in his bibliotheque, in his at home, because it's really a book that is good for lots of people. on with book number three. I love none way of explaining things and that's why I want to suggest also this other book. Um, it's 100 lesson uh, um, about the middle game, so the central part of, of the game. This is me, uh, it's really, <laughs> let you see, we are similar, and it helped me a lot to improve and it's about um, 100 lessons that are always um, explaining you a theme. For example, here there's a section bishop against knight. Um, and then there is a game or two as explanation. 
So, um, as example, to explain even better what the concept is. So it's really, really, also this one, it's really well done and very easy to read because you don't need to read a book from A to Z, but you can just pick the theme that you think, oh my God, I'm really bad in this situation. And then you pick this and you can try to improve this theme. So this is Understanding the, mid -game, the Middle Game by John Nan. Let's go on. So people are always asking books about openings, chess opening, chess opening. I want to study openings. Stop, please. Okay. Okay. Don't waste your time by learning, learning chess moves that you will forget the day later, or maybe the same on the same day. So stop doing it. Instead, study the chess structures. This is a book that I, when I, when I found this book, I said, oh my God, this is the revolution of chess. Yes. Because this book is the revolution. This book is basically um, split into several chapters and every chapter is about a specific chess structure. For example, uh, there is here, um, yeah, I was also, also taking notes. <laughs> so this is the Karakan formation. So at the beginning of every chapter, there is an explanation and it's telling you general plans, then the plans for white, uh, the plans for black, and then some extra consideration. And then there is every game, lots of games that have always a learning uh, goal. So there is a goal for that game. And then there is the example is really well done. And you can find basically all the chess structure and so instead of memorizing lots of opening, I would suggest everyone to get this Grandmaster Guide. So um, it's really much more valuable than studying lots of opening in a, in a way that we want to remember. So Chess Structure, a Grandmaster Guide by Mauricio Flores Rios. <music> but not least. So I, up to now, I suggested just book that I have read. So all those books that I've suggested you, I have read, but there is a, but, um, in chess is important end games. And I, I studied end games thanks to my coaches. They have learned me, um, lots of things step by step. Um, but recently, I found a book that I suggested to one of my students and I don't have students anymore. So to one of my previous, uh, previous student, and I had to suggest this book because it's just so well done. Um, and so that's why I think I'm, I'm fine with suggesting this to you. Also for this, I have the Italian version. So it's a book by, uh, Carsten Muller and is about learning how to play the end game. So what is so valuable of this book is that is very small, first of all, you see, and, but inside this book, there is probably all that I know about end games. So everything I know and everything I think most of the people needs to know is, is inside this book. Instead, if you see there are outside, there are so many other books that are about anxious, um, they are huge. They are like this. And they have all possible different examples of end games that you will never learn, you will never study, and you will never remember. So I think this is this one is starting really from the letter A. So it's starting with the elementary checkmate, but then it's going up to a very advanced level. So I think in this book there is everything that I know about end games. There is just one downside, and I I mean I don't turn anything by suggesting those books, so I want to say honestly what I think. Um, basically, I don't find um, that there are always chapter about a theme. For example, this is about uh, bishop, uh, a bishop endgame of the same color, and there are some diagrams, some examples. But the problem is that there is not really an explanation. So, um, it, or at least it's really, really very short. So you need to um, to think yourself about the position and then to read the short explanation. In some way is bad, in some way can be very good, 
because um, you know there is always the reply so you know if this endgame is a draw is a victory or if it is a loss but um, you you might need to think yourself about different possibilities so it can be good because when we test ourselves we really learn so actually it can be even better way so this book i didn't read but i know exactly how it's made and i think it's a good suggestion and if i would be alessia eight years old i would take this book in my, this book in my hands and start to study and now that i don't have any more chess books because they are completely destroyed it's your turn to get them and to become a chess master Thank <laughs> you.